pick your head and just lean to the left and put your head on the shoulder of the person beside you. Just don't fall out of your chair. There you go. And then everybody sit up straight. Now let's go to the right. Go ahead, lean all the way over to the right. Put your head on the shoulder of the person to your right. That looks good. Go ahead and sit up straight. So when you feel relaxed, if you feel like you need a pillow, you now have the person beside you to help you with that. All right? Now, what I want you all to do is just find one of the light bulbs on the ceiling. And look at the light bulb and just focus on it. Take some deep breaths. And just for the audience, this takes me about seven minutes. So for the next seven minutes, this is the only time in the entire show that if you could be as quiet as possible so they can listen, they can focus. And then after those seven minutes, you all can cheer as much as you want, laugh as much as you want. And the more you cheer, the louder you cheer, the better that they'll do up here. Okay? But just for the next seven minutes, as quiet as you could be, it would help them out a lot. All right, so people up here, go ahead and keep watching the light. Keep your focus on that light bulb. If you're all ready to kind of go into a nice relaxed state, nod your head yes for me. And all you gotta do is follow my instructions. And, and, and the best advice I can give you is don't try too hard. It's just like falling asleep. The harder you try and fall asleep, the less likely it is that you're gonna fall asleep. The moment you fall asleep is when you quit trying. So don't try hard, just listen to the sound of my voice, do the things that I tell you to do, and you'll find your body gets very relaxed and then your mind will follow with some relaxation. But what's gonna happen, I'm gonna put some soft music on the background just to help relax us a little bit. And again, all you need to do is just listen to the sound of my voice, keep your focus on one of the light bulbs, and we're gonna take in three deep breaths. So everybody go ahead and take in a nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, allow your body to relax. Now take in an even deeper breath. And as you exhale, allow yourself to relax. And now take in the deepest breath yet. And as you exhale, allow yourself to relax. And let your eyes close. What will you do? Put your feet on flat on the floor. Put your hands on your lap. And I want you to start to use your focus on some different things. You've already showed you have a good level of focus with the tests that we've done. I want you to put all your focus and all your attention on your chair. Notice how it fully supports you. All you got to do is just sit there and allow it to support you. And you weren't thinking about your chair before, but the moment I mention it, it allows your attention and your focus to go to it. Now take your focus and attention to your left hand. Notice how it's comfortably in your lap. You weren't thinking about it before, but when I mention it, it comes right into your mind and your attention. As you go down to your left foot, Imagine your left foot, how it feels nicely planted on the floor. Nothing you need to do but allow it to relax. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to relax different parts of your body. We're going to start at the top of your head. And what I want you to do is now take all your attention to your eyelids. And you've already showed you have a good imagination, you have a good focus. And what I want you to do is show how good that focus and imagination you have is. And what I want you to do is imagine that you have the ability to relax your eyelids so much that they just won't open. So I'll have you test them in a moment, but you really use your imagination and really believe in your mind that your eyelids are so relaxed that they're just not gonna open. So I want you to give them a little try on the count of three, on one, two, and three. See how relaxed they are. Everybody's doing a great job. And go ahead and take a deep breath. And allow yourself to continue to relax. We're gonna save that, send that relaxation from your eyelids right down your body. As you see it go down to your cheeks, a lot of those muscles to relax as it goes down to your chin. And as that wave of relaxation gets to your neck, you're gonna feel your head start to get heavy and it's gonna to wanna to fall forward. And on the count of three, I want every muscle in your neck to relax. And just let your head fall forward on one, two, and three. Let it relax. And see that relaxation go down to your chest down to your stomach, down to your thighs and waist, down to your knees. Every word I say makes you feel more relaxed as it goes down to your calves, down to your ankles, and all the way to the tips of your toes. I'm gonna to come around, I'm gonna to touch you either on the shoulder or I'm gonna to touch you on the hand. And as soon as I touch you on the shoulder or on the hand, you're gonna become almost like a wet noodle, just completely relaxed, let every muscle just become completely relaxed and nothing at all matter but the sound of my voice. Let every single muscle relax right here. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax. 
Is relaxed. Now we want to try and get your mind just as relaxed. And how we're going to do that is we're going to, I want you to use your imagination and we're going to relax your mind. And I want you to imagine that you're at the top of a staircase. The staircase only has five steps and each step is numbered, one through five. And you're going to slowly walk down that staircase as I tell you to. And each time you go down a stair, your mind's going to get more and more relaxed where everything in the room is just going to phase out of your mind except for the sound of my voice and the cool things that we're gonna do. So see yourself at the top of step five as you go from five down to step four. Slowly see the numbers fade off the steps and out of your memory as you go from four down to three, three down to two, two down to step one. And when we get down to that final step, just let your mind completely relax, just like your body. So we go from one all the way to the bottom. Numbers are gone. Nothing matters but the sound of my voice. And you feel very relaxed, you feel very comfortable now, both mentally and physically. And so we're gonna do what's called an anchor. And I'm gonna give you a way to get right back in this state. So anytime you see me point at you, and you hear me say the word sleep, anytime I point at you and say the word sleep, immediately you'll go back into this state that you're in now, only you're gonna be even more relaxed mentally and physically. So what I want everybody to do, take a nice deep breath in and sit up straight. In a moment, I'm gonna to count to three and you're gonna open your eyes. You'll see me on the center of the stage. When I point at you and I say sleep, allow yourself to go right back into the nice, relaxed, deep state that you're in. So everybody's gonna look at me on the count of three. One, two, and three. All right, everybody look up here. Just watch the finger. When I say sleep, let yourself go right back. Sleep and sleep. Right, sleep, 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 and sleep. All the way down, right? Sleep, 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 sleep. Let's do that again. Everybody sit up nice and straight. Take a deep breath in. Find me right in the middle of the stage. Let yourself go twice as deep as you just were. Just the first I'm touching. Can you open your eyes? Yeah, what's your, what's your name? Madison. Madison, nice to meet you. Sleep. Oh, my God. Thank God. Go ahead right now here. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. sleep, 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 sleep. Right down the line. Go ahead. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, sleep, and right, we're going to go one last time. This time I want you to go deeper than you've gone before. Take a nice deep breath. Everybody sit up nice and straight. You'll see me right on the center of the stage. Allow yourself to go right back into that state. This person touch now. Open your eyes and sleep, sleep. And sleep, 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 and sleep. And all the way down. Go ahead and sleep, 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 and sleep. All right, in a moment, I'm going to have the audience cheer for you throughout the rest of the show. Anytime you hear them cheer, it's only going to make you go more and more relaxed. It's going to make you go deeper and deeper, further and further into your imagination. So on the count of three, I'm going to have everybody clap, cheer, give them a nice round of applause on one, two, and three. The louder you go, the deeper they go. <laughs> everybody who comes on my stage and helps out. So what I want everybody to do is sit up nice and straight, keep your eyes closed for this one. We're actually gonna go on a Hawaii vacation. So what I, what I want you to do, or just imagine we just land in the plane, you're on the beach, it's a beautiful day, 70 degrees outside. You're in a nice beach chair, go ahead and get yourself nice and comfortable. Take some deep breaths, allow the, the beach to relax you, allow the waves to relax you. It's been a hard year, it's been your senior year. You deserve a trip like this. This is a great way to just kick back, relax, and enjoy your graduation. Now as you're sitting in your chair, they say in Hawaii, the hula tells a story with your hands. So I want you to take your hands and I want you to show everybody the setting sun, 
everybody the hula dance. Show them the setting sun with your hands. Now show them the waves going across the ocean. Show them the beautiful girls in the bikinis. Good. Keep, take a nice deep breath. Keep, allow yourself to continue to relax. And what's going to happen, it, it's starting to get hotter as you're sitting in that chair. As the day goes on, it's just going from 70 to 75. 75 to 80, 80 to 85, you're getting hot. You find if you put your hand up and you start to fan yourself, you'll actually start to feel better. And the more you fan yourself, the better you feel. The more you fan yourself, the better you feel. It goes from 85 to 90, 90 to 95. The more you fan, the better you feel. The more you fan, the better you feel. From 95 all the way up to 100, the more you fan, the better you feel. Okay, somebody's brought some air conditioners. Take a nice deep breath in. Take a nice deep breath in. You can open your eyes, see me on the center of the stage. You're doing a great job relaxing. And relax, relax. And sleep, 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 sleep. All the way down. Let yourself sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. All the way down. Go ahead. Sleep all the way down. All right, since you all came here, this is pretty cool. We got actually a famous rock band up here and uh so everybody in here you're either going to be playing an electric keyboard you're going to be playing an electric guitar but we do have two special people this guy right here you're going to be one of our drummers hold your hand out i'm going to give you your drum stick. perfect and then just the uh, girl right here the girl right here you're going to be one of our drummers hold your hand out i'm going to give you your drumsticks all right everybody else you keep your eyes closed but go ahead and grab your instruments so you can get your keyboard ready get your guitar ready and how about a big round of applause for our famous rock band Can't wait to take it out, show some of the kids from your graduating class exactly the car that you got, show it off. So everybody, go ahead, sit up nice and straight. You're in your car, go ahead, let's start this thing off, put your key inside. Good, go ahead, adjust your mirrors. Get yourself ready, go ahead, hit the radio, let's see what's on. All right, go ahead and pull out. All right, you want to drive by your friend's house, you look out the passenger window, you see him, give him a wave. 
Or by another friend's house, look out the driver's side, give him a wave. All right, now this is a fast car. We want to see how fast this car can actually go. So go ahead and let's step on the gas and see how fast we can get it up to here at 45, going to 50, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, 60 to 65, 65 to 70. See if we can get this all the way up to 100 miles an hour. 75 to 80, 80 to 85, 85 to 90. If you're almost there, 90 to 95. See if you can get it all the way up to 100 and we got... Alright, go ahead and pull, pull over, pull over. Alright, now here's the thing. A policeman just caught you driving 100 miles per hour. Now, this guy's willing to let you off. If you can tell this policeman an excuse that he's never heard before. So if you can come up with an excuse that this policeman's never heard before, he'll actually let you off. So go ahead and think about what your excuse is. When you got your excuse, raise your hand. We want to hear why you were going 100 miles per hour. You definitely don't want this ticket. They're going to take your license away. They're going to fine you. So I'm to... Right over here. Just the guy touching. What were you going 100 miles an hour for? I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> I need to turn this a little bit over here. There we go. What were you both speeding for? My mom fell down the stairs. Your mom fell down the stairs. Who else was, got a good reason why they were speeding? Just, let's see. Just, this girl right over here. Just the girl touching. What were you speeding for? My fish died. Your fish died? You have to get home with your fish? How about right here? What were you speeding for? I know it's in the hospital. Your what's in the hospital? Uh, my grandma. Your grandma's in the hospital? How about right here? What were you speeding for? My goose's foot fell off. Your goose's foot fell off. And how about right over here? What were you speeding for? The lion was running after me. The lion was running after you? How about right here? What were you speeding for? My house is on fire. I gotta put it out. Your house is on fire? This guy right down here, what were you speeding for? I'm drunk. You're drunk. <laughs> Alright, I got good news for everybody. The police officer liked your excuses. So they're not going to give you a ticket. So go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Go ahead and open your eyes. As you go right down and sleep, sleep. Go down, sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Go down, sleep, 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 sleep. Go down, sleep, sleep, sleep. Go down, sleep, sleep, sleep. Go down, Let's go right here. The girl touching now. The one that I just touched on the shoulder. In a moment, you're going to wake up and you're going to open your eyes. And you're going to find something really strange has happened. So just a girl touching on the shoulder. And you're going to find out that you can no longer remember the number six. So whenever you count, you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. If you count backwards, it's going to be ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And until I snap my fingers, you're no longer going to be able to remember the number six. Do you understand that? On your head, yes. And everybody else. In a moment, you're going to see me interviewing somebody on the stage, and you're going to realize that they can no longer remember the number six. And when they forget the number six, you're going to think it's one of the funniest things you've ever seen in your life, and it's going to make you laugh really, really hard. Everybody understands that? Love your head, yes. Perfect. Now everybody can sit up nice and straight. Everybody can open their eyes. Now throughout the show, we're going to be doing some interviews. I'm going to have you two stand up. I thought, I thought we'd have a few people back out in the audience, but we don't, so I'm just going to put you on the ends here. Oh, you are here. We'll send you right over here. And throughout the show, we're going to do some interviews. And uh, do you mind if I interview you? All right, come on up here. And what's your name? Allie. Allie? Allie. Allie, I'm sorry. Allie. So Allie, uh, let, let's see, you're, you're a senior this year? And, and how, how many fingers do you have? Ten. Ten, and how many toes do you have? Ten. Okay, so we're gonna check that out. If you could put your two hands out like this. So I'm gonna start with the number one, and we're gonna count one at a time all the way up to the number 10. Okay, so go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, Oh, wait, Ali, I thought you said you had 10 fingers. Yes. Yeah, you do? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's not joke around. Do you know how many, how many fingers do you have? 10. 10. How many toes do you have? 10. Okay, let's count them nice and loud. Go ahead. 
Now we're going to continue on to some of these interviews. Let's. Uh, do, do you mind if I interview you? Okay, come on up here and let's get this guy right here. Can I interview you? All right, perfect. Come on up here. And uh, so yeah, if you want to start here, uh, what, what, what's your first name? Madison. Madison. What's your middle name? Kennedy. And your last name? I don't know. Well, now wait a second. What, what, what grade are you in? Twelve. Yeah, so you know, you know your last name. What's your, what's your first name? Madison. Your middle name? Kennedy. Your last name? I need to ask my mom. You need to ask your mom? Is your mom here? <laughs> no, we'll, 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 have, we'll have them help you here in a second. For, what, what's your name? Cha Cha. Cha Cha. What's your middle name? Cha Cha. And what, what, what's your last name? Cha Cha. So your first name is Cha Cha, and your middle name is Cha Cha, and your last name is Cha Cha. Okay. And what was your first name? Madison. Your middle name? Kennedy. Your last name? <laughs> kind of freaky. <laughs> you keep thinking about it. What was your first name again? Cha Cha. The middle name? Cha Cha. The last name? Cha Cha. Is that like a family name, or where did that come from? It's my name. What's your name? It's my name. How, how, how do you spell that? Cha cha. Cha cha. You go like C H A, C H A. Cha cha. Just cha cha. Are both C's capitalized or just one? Just cha cha. Just cha cha. Is there a hyphen in the middle? Cha cha. Just cha cha. Okay. And what was your first name? Madison. Your middle name? Kennedy. Your last name? What is her last name? Hench. Hench? Yes. Okay, so they're saying your last name's Hench. Let's try this again. What's your first name? Madison. Your middle name? Kennedy. Your last name? Yeah. Okay. What, what was your first name? Cha Cha. Your middle name? Cha Cha. And your last name? Cha Cha. And watch my fingers. When I snap, your last name is going to come back. One, two, three. What's your first name? Madison. Your middle name? Kennedy. Your last name? Hench. There we go. Give her a big round of applause. You go back to your seat. And your name was? Cha uh, Cha. Cha Cha. Let's keep him as Cha 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 Cha. You can go ahead and have that seat. <laughs> So here we go, right down the line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. Right down the line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. And a moment, I'm going to wake you all back up. This time, you're going to find something strange has happened. When you take a scan of your body, you're going to see that your belly button is missing. And it's missing because somebody in this room stole your belly button. You're going to know who it was, and you're going to know exactly why they stole it from you. And you're not too happy about it. You're not going to get out of your chair. You're not going to hit anybody. But you're going to be pretty upset that somebody stole your belly button from you. If you all understand that, nod your head yes. Okay, go ahead. Everybody can sit up nice and straight. Go ahead and open your eyes. And uh, if you look around your body, some of you may see something strange has happened. If you notice something strange, raise your hand. I want to see just this guy right here. What, what, what do you notice? My belly button's gone. It's gone? What happened to your belly button? Cha Cha stole it. Cha Cha stole it? Yeah. Why, why would Cha Cha want your belly button? He's in some weird stuff. He's in some weird stuff. So, like, this girl right down here, what are you missing? My belly button. Your belly button is gone? What happened to your belly button? Somebody took it. Somebody took it? Why would they have taken it? I don't know. Do you know who took it? Him. He took it? Yes. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll see. Maybe later he'll give it back. What are you missing? My belly button. And who took your belly button? Her. And why did she take it? I don't know. Not sure? How about right here? What are you missing? Your belly button. And who took it? She did. She did? Why would she want your belly button? She was so freaking jealous I have one. So she wanted two. Yeah, she wanted two of them. Yeah. And right here, you're, what, what are you missing? My belly button. Your belly button. What happened to yours? He stole it. He stole it? Why would he steal it? He's fast, probably hungry. Are you hungry? Now, how about right here? What are you missing? Your what? Your button? What happened to it? He stole it? Why would he take it? You don't know? You, you want it back? Do you, you mind giving her her belly button back? Can I put it back on? Does that, does that make it better? You're scared of him? You want to move? Would you feel better if you switch places with somebody? Okay, sounds good. So everybody, go ahead and look up here at me on the stage and go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. All the way down the back line. All the way down the back line.
All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to do the world's worst dance contest. So if you're not a good dancer, this is the perfect opportunity for you, because we're not looking for the best dancers, we're looking for the world's worst dancers. And who, whoever wins is going to get a special prize. But we don't have enough room on stage for everybody, so if you want to be in this world's worst dance contest and go for the prize, raise your hand, we'll get a couple of contestants in here. So I'm going to give you a ticket right here. I'm going to give you a ticket, we're going to give you a ticket, and we're going to give you a ticket. All right, so everybody can sit up nice and straight. Open your eyes. If you got a ticket for the world's worst dance contest, go ahead. We're going to come, bring you to center stage. So, so come on around here. Yep, just the people who have a ticket. We've got three, three contestants. That's four contestants. Come on here. And what we're going to do, we're going to do your world's worst dance moves, and then we're going to let the audience vote for who they think does the worst. All right, so go ahead and show them what you got. Let's go. Tell me your worst food. <laughs> All right, now you're going to show them your moves in slow motion. So show them in slow motion. Stay, stay standing. I'm sorry. We've got to find our winner. All right, come on back around here. We're going to see who, who gets the prize. So we'll just do it by a round of applause. Who thought this was our worst dancer? Right, who thought this was the worst dancer? Who thought this was the worst dancer? And how about right here? Right, I think we got to give it to this guy. I think you're the winner. You stay here for your prize. You three can go ahead. Great job. What I want you to do is put your finger up like this. So what, what I want you to do, all the hypnosis powers that I have and the things that we've been doing, I'm going to put all in this little finger. So all the hypnosis power goes into this finger. And when you go around to the people behind you on stage, if you take that finger and you touch them on the forehead, it's going to put them into a deeper state of relaxation than they've been in, in the entire night. So people in the back, if you could push your feet in a little bit, just so he doesn't trip. If you go right down the line, just go ahead and hit them one at a time in the forehead. put it on your wrist like this. And what I want you to do is, as you watch the, your finger, you're going to see your finger gets closer and closer to your forehead. You're going to try and stop it, but the harder you try and stop it, the closer and closer to your forehead it's going to get. So go ahead and watch it. See that finger get closer and closer to your forehead. The harder you try and stop it, the faster and closer it gets. The harder you try, the more and closer and closer it gets until eventually it's going to touch you on the forehead and you know what's going to happen to you when it touches you on the forehead. Yes. What, what was your name again? You woke up. What was your name? Ryan. Sleep. Just stay right there. You're good. Right. He woke you up. Are you okay? Okay. You, you can just stay right there. All right. So what's what's gonna happen? We're gonna use. Let's see, this, this guy right here, I think he'll be fun with this one. So just the guy I'm touching out a moment, I'm going to wake you up. You're going to find your professional mind reader. You can read everybody's mind in the room. You know exactly what they're thinking, all the embarrassing things, all the funny things, and, and you know exactly what's going on. It's like the coolest superpower ever because you know what everybody's thinking. There's going to be people in here that they want to know. They're going to want their mind read, and when they do, you're going to be able to tell them exactly what they're thinking. Do you understand that? Nod your head, yes. 
Okay, everybody sit up nice and straight. And then I'm gonna have you, we're, we're gonna do another interview. This, this guy right here, can you open your eyes? I'm gonna bring you here. This guy right there, you can go ahead and have a seat in your chair. And uh, from what I understand, you have some special talents. What, what, what can you do? I can read minds. You can read minds. Is there somebody here that would like to have their mind read? It looks like this girl right here. What, what, what's she thinking right now? She's thinking about food. She's thinking about food. Okay. Who, who else wants her mind read? Right, right back here in the corner. What's she thinking? She's thinking about going home. She's thinking about going home. All right. Who else? So we got somebody right over here. What, what's she thinking about? She's thinking about her dog. Her dog? Oh, yeah. How about this guy right back here? What's he thinking? Yeah. He's thinking about the guy beside him. About what? The guy beside him. The guy beside him. Now, now look back out this way. You see somebody, that I'm, I'm thinking, is that, is that some teachers and stuff in the back? Are any of them thinking something pretty embarrassing right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, who, who's thinking something embarrassing that they wouldn't want people to know? Mr. Trump. <laughs> And what's he thinking about right now? He's thinking about me. He's thinking about me. <laughs> and what about any, any of the other teachers thinking something pretty embarrassing, pretty funny? This is nice. Yeah, what, what, what's he thinking about? How much he hates school. How much he hates school. <laughs> so how about a big round of applause for our mind readers? You did an awesome job. Thanks for sharing your talent. You can have a seat right there. Right, this is that woman. What's your name again? Cha Cha, go ahead and sleep. Which is All right, Cha Cha, in a moment, I'm going to wake you back up. This time, you're going to see in the middle of the stage, standing with me, is going to be the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, she's already told me she thinks you're attractive. She hopes you ask her to dance. So you don't even need to be shy about asking, because I already know that she's going to say yes. And you just can't wait to dance with this beautiful girl. Do you understand that? Nod your head yes for me. OK, stay right there for one second. Let me get our music ready. So touch on in a moment. When you open your eyes, you're going to see the girl standing with me. You're going to come up. If you have a good pickup line, go ahead and use it. If not, you can just ask her to dance because she's definitely going to say yes. Do you understand that? Nod your head yes. And you can open your eyes. And you're going to rap some, something a little unique, so it's not like normal rappers. You are actually child song rappers. And, and what you do is you rap people's favorite children's songs. Could be the ABCs, could be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Just any child song that you like. You're a world famous rapper. There's thousands of people that have come to listen to you in concert. We don't have enough time for every rapper that showed up to go, so we're only going to have time for a few. But I want you to think of your favorite children's song. And, and everybody's here to listen to you rap. If you understand that, nod your head yes. Okay, everybody go ahead and sit up nice and straight. All right, so everybody's here to see our world-famous rap team. They love to rap their famous children's songs. 
I'm going to put a little music on in the background, and when you're ready to wrap your song, just let us know. I'm just going to give you the microphone and you take it away. Give her a round of applause. You did a great job. We've got this all ready to go. See right over here. Let's see what you got. Go ahead and let, this, let it go when you're ready. Give her a big round of applause. You did a great job. Thank you very much. You've got your children's song ready to go. Let's get a couple more here. Cha cha. We got to see what you got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mary had a little lamb. This is way slow. This is way slow. Hey, Mary had a little lamb. This is way slow. We got cha cha on the track. Look, uh, uh, Mary, Mary, Mary had a little lamb. How about a big cheer for Cha Cha? Cha Cha, here we go! I see you all set. Jake Bros on the mic. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, F, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Give them a round of applause. You did a great job. Anybody else want to go? Anybody else got a good children's song for us? Yep, they're good. pretty good. All right, how about a big round of applause for our world famous crackers? All right, one last time, down the line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 and sleep. Down the back line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep and sleep. All right, just let, take some deep breaths in. In a moment, we're going to bring you back into the room, back into reality, and out of your imaginations. Uh, but well, one of the things I'll, I'll check with your counselors. I'm guessing since we're in public, this is okay, but. Uh, most hypnotists after a show, they sell DVDs of their show for high school students. I always do it for free. So I've been taping up there. i got a YouTube channel. It usually gets several thousand views on different videos. So as long as it works with your counselor, we can make it private. She can just give it to you or we can make it public. Whatever, like, we work out with them. Um, but in, in the long run, like, some of you hopefully will be able to watch the show if you've been taking pictures and taking videos. I saw some people with cameras out. That's totally fine too. Uh, I would just check with the people on stage, make sure they're okay with you like putting anything on there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, oh, uh, the, the YouTube channel too, it's Mike Lee Comedy Hypnosis. So if you look that up, even if we don't get to put the show on tonight, you can look at a whole bunch of other high school kids, a bunch of campgrounds, a bunch of colleges, and different things on there, and listening to them rap and dance and all some of the fun stuff that we've done tonight, and even other stuff that we didn't get to do. All right, so what we're going to do this time, we're going to do the opposite of what we did a minute ago, where you came down the steps. Now you're going to go up those steps. And as you come up the steps, all your stuff in your imagination, your focus on the sound of my voice is going to fade out of your mind, out of your memory. You're going to feel relaxed. You're going to feel good and glad that you volunteered on stage. You brought some awesome personalities up here to the stage and, and showed some you know, r really good things for the crowd here tonight and put on a great show and you were all superstars and you'll be proud of doing that. So the one thing I want you to leave with, I want you to, as you're sitting here now, you're in a part of your brain that you don't usually access very often. And what I want you to do is imagine your future plans. Some of you I'm sure are going off to college, some to tech school, some right into the workforce. And I want you to imagine what you're about to do after graduation. And I want you to imagine yourself being successful in whatever that is. Success in your first job, success at college, see yourself studying, see yourself getting good grades, and kind of plant that suggestion in your mind, in your brain, now that you're in a part where you don't have that too often. And see yourself being successful, and don't let that suggestion wear off. Everything else with the names is gonna be completely gone, except for one. We're gonna use Cha-Cha again, Cha-Cha right here. When I bring you out, Everything's gonna be gone except for one thing. You're still gonna be convinced your name is Cha-Cha. And as long as you're in this room tonight, when people ask you what your name is, you're still gonna be 100% convinced that your name's Cha-Cha. And so you walk out the door, as soon as you walk out the door of this restaurant, right away your real name will come back into your memory. But as long as you're still in this room, if people ask you, you're gonna stay Cha-Cha. 
Right? So see yourself at the bottom of the steps, and we're slowly going to walk up those steps as you go up step number one. See the numbers come back on the steps as you go step two, all the way up to step three. Take a nice deep breath as you see step four. And then everybody sit up nice and straight. Slowly open your eyes up to step number five. Everybody feeling good, feeling relaxed. Everybody go ahead and stand up out of your chair. You all did a great job. You were all superstars tonight. Take a big bow. The crowd give them a big round of applause for being warriors. To come out, show their personality. And you all can go ahead and back to your seats. Thank you so much.